This is Mission Control Houston. You're, you're continuing to uh, look at a uh, view from a balcony camera in the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov on the outskirts of Moscow. Russian flight controllers are still uh, analyzing telemetry uh, that uh, has been received from the Progress 65 cargo craft, which launched uh, just 40 minutes ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Uh, first and second stage performance of the three-stage Soyuz booster rocket uh, was nominal, no issues reported. Uh, when third stage performance of the Soyuz booster uh, uh, began and shortly uh, thereafter, uh, some ratty telemetry was noticed uh, and reported uh, by the Russian ballistics team at the Russian uh, Mission Control Center. Uh, there were conflicting reports about uh, the Progress 65's uh, health at that point. Uh, one report indicated uh, and has been confirmed that navigational antennas uh, were deployed, but it appears at this point at least uh, that uh, there is no concrete uh, confirmation uh, about uh, the uh, fate of the solar arrays on the 65 Progress vehicle. We uh, just don't know at this point uh, as uh, telemetry is being reviewed by the Russian flight control team in Koryov as to whether those arrays did deploy or whether they remain stowed. Uh, also, uh, we are uh, awaiting further word on uh, what uh, the uh, state vector is of the Progress 65, uh, its orbit in relation to the Earth. The International Space Station and its six crew members are flying over the uh, Northwest Pacific Ocean, uh, just off the coast of Japan in an orbit uh, from northwest to southeast and at altitude of 252 statute miles. Uh, this uh, launch uh, was uh, sending uh, the progress on a two-day rendezvous to the International Space Station to arrive uh, at the station on Saturday for a docking to the aft port of the Zvezda service module.